Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to easily create fake 3D camera switches on different car parts in After Effects, let's begin. First of all create new camera layer. Make sure type is set to 2 node camera and the preset is 35mm and then click OK. Enable 3D on the clip you are going to work with, then open the camera's transform settings. Click the stopwatch icons next to point of interest and position to add keyframes. After that press you on your keyboard to see only the keyframes you just created. Now let's enable the proportional grid from here. It will help us see the exact center of the screen making it easier to center the camera movements with 100% accuracy. Now scroll forward for about 1 second, then select the dolly cursor tool from the camera tools here, where you can select it by pressing C on your keyboard until it appears. Using the dolly cursor tool, I'll zoom the camera in toward the headlight. Now I need to center it, so let's select the pan cursor tool, press C until it appears, or choose it from the camera tools from here. Once it's selected, move the headlight until it's centered on the screen. Now scroll forward for about 1 second again and then with a pan cursor tool selected, move the camera to focus on a different car part, for example I will switch to the wheel here. Repeat the same process, scroll forward 1 second, then switch to another car part. Just make sure each part stays perfectly centered on the screen. Once you're done and satisfied with the result, scroll forward again. Then right click on the stopwatch icons here and select reset to restore the values. We can now toggle off the proportional grid since we are done and then select all the keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve. Let's check it. It already looks smooth, but let's enhance it by enabling motion blur on the clip. Then press Ctrl K on your keyboard to open the composition settings. Go to the advanced tab and increase the shutter angle to 720. This will increase the motion blur, making the camera movements appear smoother and more natural. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.